It is now 8.55 on your Friday morning. I'm Lynn Bowie. Right now, let's go to Marty. Uh, the visual event of a few wet snowflakes moving through the area seems to have abated for a moment, but we're going to continue to have moisture, showers, maybe even once in a while a wet snow shower. Uh, band around this pretty deep low that is still intensifying up over New England and Long Island Sound. Winds now steady 31 miles an hour. A gust of over 40. We've had higher gusts. Wind warning in effect. That's the obvious graphic. Out west, we have a winter weather advisory. 36 degrees. We've fallen 10 degrees in the past four hours. I think we'll settle at this number as we move through the day. Christy, you're staying with us this morning. Problems continue to mount. Take it away. Marty, the problems are never ending. Let's take a live look. As you can see, the top side of the beltway, extremely heavy. That delay is going to begin back at 95, and it's going to stretch over to Lock Raven Boulevard. Not much better on the west side outer loop. It looks like it's thinning out a little bit there at Security Boulevard, but the heaviest right now is from 795 to 70. Northbound 95, take a look at that. All jammed up there. That's going to be from 32 to 100. And then southbound 95, also very heavy from Caton Avenue to 32. Down trees, so many of them. Mount Carmel Road at Pleasant Meadow. We also have West Benfield Road at Pixie Drive. All lanes remain blocked there. Another down tree, Emory Road at Parrish Road. And keep in mind the one Laytonsville Road near Brink Road. That one, all lanes are blocked. Also, take caution when you're going over all the area bridges. And Mark Train has, sus has suspended service on all three lines. Back over to you. The weather has taken a toll across Maryland from fallen power lines to downed trees. Mike Shue has a look at some damage in one northeast Baltimore neighborhood. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. I'm standing in the middle of Walther Avenue, which on a normal rush hour, there's no way I could do. There is the base of a tree, 150 feet tall, came right across Walther, landed on these two cars as they were traveling southbound. Both drivers went to the hospital. The officer on duty said it was just as a precaution. Uh, they were awake and alert and they were talking. Both of the airbags went off. As you see, they're now starting to remove this tree so they can try to get a tow truck in here to take these cars out of the way to reopen this for what remains of rush hour. So this is a scene that we're seeing around the area. Lots of trees are down and there are many detours around the area. We've seen with the mobile weather lab the uh, winds gusting around 40 miles an hour. It's only expected to get worse as the day goes on. I'm Mike Shue reporting from Northeast Baltimore. Back to you, Lynn. And stay with WJZ this morning. We'll have weather and traffic updates every half hour.